hi there students to furnish to furnish is the corresponding verb linked with furniture to furnish to provide furniture and decoration for a house when you rent a flat you can have a furnished rental or an unfurnished rental if the flat is unfurnished it's completely empty if the flat is furnished it has a bed it has a sofa chair and tables maybe some pictures on the wall it has knives and forks and all the kitchen equipment all the things that you need all the basic things you need to live in it to furnish I furnished my flat, my new flat, with furnishings from Ikea. So furnishings, furniture and decorations, the things to go in a house. But we have another meaning of to furnish. We use it to mean to give, to supply, to provide, to equip, to outfish sorry to outfit so you furnish somebody with something do you think you could furnish me with a little bit of money to tide me over till the weekend a catering company furnished all the food for the party um, I had notice very often it's to furnish somebody with something. The school furnished the children with all the school books that they needed. The school provided them. They equipped the children with the books that they needed. The army furnishes soldiers with the equipment they need to be a soldier. Um, I was running uh, very late with my project and my boss furnished me provided me with extra time he furnished me with extra time um, you can very often furnish information or furnish details to furnish information is a good collocation a charity furnished the library with books provided the library with books so the next question is formality well when we're talking about furniture and decoration I think this is neutral formality maybe a 5 or a 5.5 in formality it's more technical and you could use it in an informal conversation you could use it in a really formal document However, with this meaning of to provide, this is much, much more formal. I would give this something like, like a 7 or a 7.5 in formality. Could you furnish us with more information? This is a very formal way of saying provide. And I wouldn't use furnish like this in an informal conversation. It would sound very haughtous, um, haughtiest and pompous. Okay, very haughty and pompous. Yeah, haughty and pompous. Sorry about that. Okay, notice as well, to furnish is a regular verb. He furnished the flat. He has furnished me with the details I need. Okay, so what about the root of this word? Well, this word has come into English via um, Old German and then Frankish. Frankish is sort of third or fourth century German. Um, a word, the Franks had a word called Frumjam, meaning to complete or to execute. So I guess if you're furnishing your house, you're completing your house. You're doing the last details. So to furnish, to provide furniture and decoration for a house or to provide something, to equip something, somebody with something, to supply something. There you go. 
If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. You could furnish me with your thoughts on the video. Um, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. To Furnish.